Hey, so today I want to talk about memory leaks. So memory leaks aren't probably new to any of you. Most students really early, when you first start learning about programming in C, it gets beaten into your head that you need to free all the memory that you allocate, right? So that seems like a reasonable thing. You obviously don't want to leave memory around. And the reason is, is that, well, yeah, over time, if you don't free your memory, you're going to accumulate a lot of memory and that might affect how well your system runs in the future. So often in my operating systems class, though, my students will discover that there are programs out there. There are a lot of terminal programs, for instance, like LS, CAT, like that style of program uh, that are used in, in Unix that don't free their memory. And students initially are shocked. They're horrified. This is blasphemy. But no, it's not. Um, but so today I want to talk about why memory leaks might not be a bad thing. Uh, and the reason is is speed. So, so if you think about it, the programs that you will see have intentional memory leaks. These programs do one thing. They allocate some memory, they use that memory, and then they and then they exit. They don't loop forever. They don't they're not like a web server or a browser or a word processor that's going to do a lot of different things with with the memory. They just do one thing. And if you think about it, then what happens when that process ends? When the process is done, all of that memory is going to be reclaimed. It's going to be the virtual memory system is going to unmap all of the pages that that process had mapped. And so in the end, that memory goes away anyway, the leak's not a problem, and your program is faster. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not saying, I want to be clear, I'm not saying you shouldn't free your memory. But, but I want you to think about it, that, that occasionally, if you have a program that's going to run a lot, and where you really need to shave off just every, every microsecond counts, it might not be a bad thing to not free all of your memory. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out as an alternate viewpoint uh, in, case, in case you've come across some of these cases and you're wondering what's going on and why are these people not freeing all their memory. In general, it's still a good idea to have the habit of always freeing your memory, but occasionally you can intentionally add memory leaks uh, that don't, they're not effectively memory leaks because your program is going to terminate. It's always going to terminate. It can't run for hours or days. It's going to get done in a hurry. So anyway, just something to point out. I hope it's useful. Uh, if you like these videos, then like, subscribe, and let me know, of course, if there are videos you'd like me to make in the future. Otherwise, have a great day.